Welcome to the IBM i2 Tips and Tricks sessions. Today we're going to be covering how to open, close, move, and resize various task panes within the new Analyst's Notebook version 9. I'm starting off with a chart of a rather popular family. I'm going to go ahead and open up something here on the Home tab, and we're going to hit Import and Import Pane. And when we open up the Importer Pane, this is where we would actually do our imports from Structured Flat Files. If I also opened up a palette, you see that our palette for various entity types or theme lines, various link types, and various uh, icons are all beginning to fill up part of our screen. If I go to my Analyze tab and I choose the search box, we see that the search box is docked down here at the bottom of my screen. If I was to bring up Social Network Analysis, maybe Mapping Chart Items, you can see in a very short amount of time we are left with a very, very small amount of real estate to work with for our actual chart. Now, one answer I guess could be a lot of extra monitors, but thanks to the layout plans that are in Analyst's Notebook 9, you can now maximize your screen and, and maximize your effectiveness by simply moving panes around, redocking, or resizing them. So let's start off with, first of all, simply closing panes. We can just hit an X and get them out of our way. If I go back and pull up map chart items, you see it comes back to right where it was. Now, if I decided I really would rather have it over on the right side of my screen, as long as the task pane is pinned, I can take it, grab it by the banner, and I get a control box right here for moving it to the right or the left of my screen. I'll dock it to the right. But one great new thing here is that I can simply unpin it, and Map Chart Items has now just turned into a tab. Likewise, I can unpin the importer and insert from palette, and now I have three simple pins to work with. I can do the same thing down here with my search tool, and all of a sudden, I have all of my real estate right back and easy to work with. Now, if I wanted to go and create an additional entity, I can open insert from palette, and while hovering over it, I could pick another person. I can pick perhaps a vehicle to add to the chart. And if I wanted to leave it open while hovering over it, I just simply repin. Now, if I wanted to move this again, I could just grab it. I can put my mouse pointer over either the left or the right. I can also go all the way to the right, where there's an additional landing pad, or to the left. And I'll leave it pinned over here to the left for now because that might be more conducive to how I'm working. It's also a nice way to split your screen among multiple monitors. Another great thing in the version 9 of Analyst's Notebook is I can choose to make my task panes floating, to have them auto-hiding, or to hide them outright. So let's go ahead and float one. I'm going to float the palette for Insert from Palette, and then I'm going to take it and resize it. It might be more convenient for me to see it this way, and I can simply drag it down to another point in my chart and drop it off. Now there is a minimum height based on the amount of data that's in a particular palette. Or again, I can just, when I'm done with it, drag it back over to a docking place, unpin it, and let it turn into a tab. If you like today's video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel.